Hello YouTubers! Today I'm going to be doing another first, which will be my first ever book review. And today I'm going to be reviewing John Green Paper Towns. And first of all, I'm going to tell you what this book is actually about. So if you haven't read the book or watched the film, then don't watch this video because it's probably going to be quite a lot of spoilers. Of course, the book is about a guy called Quentin who is in love with a girl called Margot who happens to be his next door neighbour. She lives opposite him. For like ages and ages and ages he's been in love with this girl and she never seemed to notice him. Then obviously one day out of the blue she climbs through his window of his house and they start this friendship where she takes him on this big adventure. He vandalises her houses and plays pranks and stuff on people like her ex-boyfriend and old friends. I think because one of her ex-boyfriends I think he cheats on her and so she gets Quentin to be her getaway driver and so he obviously brings his parents van that they give to him and then he drives her around to all these people's houses and, she, and then they both sneak in through the window and do and do stuff to people in, the, in their houses <laughs> try not to be caught but then one day Margot out of the blue she goes missing and Quentin and his friends, because obviously Quentin's so in love with her, he has to find her, so he goes on this adventure where him and his friends go and try and find Margot and get her back. And in the end, they do actually find her. Also, Margot leaves Quentin clues on how to find her, and a lot of the book is based around the kind of clues that, that Quentin finds to help him work out where Margot is and obviously in the end like I just said he does find her from the clues she is because she's obviously a very creative person so she comes up with some very interesting clues. I'm going to start off with the positives of the book. Basically Quentin's been in love with Margot for like ages and ages and Margot has never noticed him because you know she's one of those popular girls. She never notices the boys and other girls that aren't as popular as her and her friends. Obviously Quentin knows this, but I think it's quite cute that one day out of the blue, Margot appears in his house and actually starts talking to him and he's obviously really, really happy because he absolutely adores this girl. She's finally noticing him. And I think that's a really great part of the book because he's so in love with her and she just suddenly decides that she wants to to know him with the whole high school patriarchy is still in it as well which isn't too great and also the fact that he goes above and beyond to find her and she doesn't turn up for school one day and he finds out she's actually gone missing he's like yeah i'm going to find her and he gives him all these little clues so that's quite a good part of the book where he finds all these clues about her and he's determined to find her it really shows that you can love someone so much you, you go to the ends of the earth for them. John Green in every single one of his books, not just in Paper Towns, but in every single one of his books, he has a love story and there's always somebody, normally it's normally the boy actually in his books, normally you make it the girl but in his books it makes it the boy so it's even better. And the boy always goes above and beyond to get the girl and in this case to find her and she goes missing because he's that concerned about her about her that much. Because it's more of a realistic part as well because obviously in movies they really massively over exaggerate love and they do things that you'd love to have in your life but probably would never get and in the book realistic because they could have because if you did go missing or something happened to you somebody who loves you a lot would probably would go out of their way to find you don't get me wrong i absolutely love john green and i love his books like looking for alaska and Bolton our stars it's absolutely brilliant. They're the only other two that I've actually read apart from Paper Towns. I absolutely love them. So don't please don't think I don't like him or his books because I really do. But I was really disappointed by Paper Towns. When our stars and Looking for Alaska actually made me cry and all gave me a really shocking. So I remember I was reading Looking for Alaska and I went, oh my god, no, on the bus because I was so into the book and I was so shocked at this particular plot twist that came about in the book. And those of you read it probably know what I'm on about. Paper Towns. In my opinion, there wasn't really any plot twist. I couldn't. It took me ages to get into the book. Margot notices him is really good. It's also quite mean because Margot doesn't bother with him for so long because he's a loser, a loser kid as they call it, as they are in most high school movies and stuff like that. So she never bothers with him, and that annoys me a little bit. And then out of the blue, she climbs into his window, 
and I seem to go with her to do all these revenge and it's like you haven't spoken to him in months or even years and then you suddenly climb into his window invading his privacy <laughs> ask him to take you somewhere she, I think it's just a character she's a little bit of a bitch I think in the book that really hooked me that really made me think well you know what this is brilliant there's nothing that made me cry nothing made me feel really happy nothing that made me really shocked or disgusted it was quite a boring read all the way through and the ending was so unclimatic if that's even a word and the other two books the ending was just brilliant it was the way it was done was just brilliant but with paper towns he finds her and then it just like stops so in that venture to find margot there wasn't really much excitement going on there I didn't really see any kind of excitement to the book that really disappointed me because I really love John Green and obviously I'd still buy his books and watch his film. I probably will do a film review on Paper Towns when I've seen it as well because obviously I haven't seen it yet and it could be better than the book. I wasn't very, I'm sorry but I just, I was really disappointed with it. I, was, I think it could have been more, a lot more exciting and it wasn't. But obviously I'd not given up on John Green because I love him and it, it probably just it was just one book that didn't work out well which is fine but I did like the love story in it obviously because I always like a good love story like I said it's quite realistic love stories I quite liked yeah I think that's pretty much it I'm sorry I <laughs> probably like annoyed a lot of people but like I said I still love John Green if you like Paper Towns fair enough I just was a bit disappointed with how it turned out thank you for watching my videos as always I'll be doing more book reviews I'm probably going to start doing book read reviews as well if you like my videos please subscribe to me but i'm incredibly grateful to every single person who just watches my videos i love having known people watch my videos and enjoy them so please watch my videos obviously as you're doing hey guys mm -hmm.